Hello everyone, this is the Trex 83 or Delta 6 of the Run 8 community, and welcome to uh, the Run 8 version 1 reskin tutorial or texture modification tutorial. So today that's what we're going to be doing for a short little video, so let's minimize OBS. So we're going to need a few different tools for this. So what we're going to need to do is go to our Run 8 directory, so I'm just going to use my shortcut for that. Right click on your shortcut properties, open file location. And da, 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 go through my 5 billion folders. We're going to go to Run 8. This is where you normally install C program, Proud 686, Run 8 Studios, Run 8 Trade Simulator. We're going to go to Content. Now, the first file we're going to need is something that I'm actually going to look up just so you guys know what it is. I'm going to include the link in the description. So I'm going to search for X and B. Open full location. So. I have XNB exported 3.0, 3.1, 4.0. The one you're going to want to grab is this one, XNB 3.1 exporter. Now here's how we're going to use this. Uh, for example, we're going to take XNB exporter 3.1. I have run it, train similar content, and I copied a version of it into here. Now, this is a portable application, so we're going to put it wherever we want. Whatever folder you're extracting from is where that AX is where the exporter has to be. So we're going to go to the body folder. And as you can see, we already have one here. So we're going to right click on it, hit properties, compatibility, run this program as administrator. You have to run it as administrator or it will not work. I cannot stress that enough. You'll also want to know, I'll point out to you where the textures are. Uh, we're in the wrong spot. Let's see, textures right here. For new DLC, like the hoppers, any of the new DLC that came up for Run 8 is in here now. We'll have low res and normal res textures. A lot of the other stuff will just have a single resolution texture, and that'll be in this textures folder. So what are we going to do today? I know, we're going to take this. We're going to do BNSFOs. Oh, whatever the heck. So what are we going to do for this? We're going to do IZARC, add to a zip. And this is the phone we're going to have. Anything that has underscore zero in front of it is a texture file. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy from here, copy this title, and there's a reason why we're doing that. So we're going to set this one to run as administrator like it's supposed to. Double click on it. I just double check how the recording is going. Yep, the recording is going well. So then we're going to go in here. It says file name without .xnb. Hit paste. Hit go for it. And it's going to go for it, and ba-doom. We have a... The answer to that is, no, it is not the time to talk there, Sarua. What we're looking at right here, yeah, that's the texture file for the Run 8 ES44DC, the default one that came with Run 8. That's the first one on the list. This is the first ES44 on the list. This is the texture file you're looking at. This is what it looks like when it wraps around. Yeah, so Nigel's had a lot to work with. This is why I keep telling people it's not easy to make a reskin, because take a look at what you're dealing with here. You think this is easy? It ain't. Now, with that out of the way, we're going to right-click on it. Or actually, no, we're not. What we're going to do is copy. I'm going to hit paste. I'm going to put it here. Exit. And we're going to right-click and hit edit. Now you can use MS Paint, you can use Photoshop, anything that edits a PNG file is all you need. So this is going to be interesting. So what we're going to do in our case... is... We're in the wrong thing. We're in paint.net rather than paint. So rotate 90 degree counterclockwise just so that we can do this you have to rotate it back to the original point of origin otherwise the skin will completely fail when you go to put it on so in our case what are we going to do we're going to make a little box if I can remember where I put the box All right, we'll just put something right here. Battery skin lol. 
And then we're going to take this. Yeah, look at that uh, that awesome penmanship there. Bad reskins, lol. We're going to put that there. You hit file, save. As, what are we going to save? This is auto detect as a PNG. Save, close, and then we have our stupid texture. So now here, that's now we've exported the XNB to a PNG. Now how do we get it back into Run 8, you ask? Well, there's a lot of ways to just do it. Uh, Freeman was looking at Zero, don't worry about it, he's crazy. Okay, what are we going to need? Well, we're going to go to my Run 8 dev kit, and this is another portable program. By the way, you're going to need to have XNA Game Studio 3.1 installed in order for XNB Exporter to work. You have to. There is literally no, no other way to do it. It will not work otherwise. The tutorial, the instructions on how to do that will be in the description just as they were in the previous video, which was the Doppler effects tutorial. So we're going to go to Run 8 Dev Kit. This is just my shortcut. Run 8 Dev Kit and Magical Modder. Again, Magical Modder has to be running as administrator, otherwise it doesn't work. Magical Modder is for the game Magica, but Magica also so happen, just so happens to run on XDNA 3.1 just like Run 8 Train Simulator version 1 does. We're going to go to Images to XNB Textures Converter. Hit Add. And we're going to go find our stupid thingy. So we're going to go find our stupid body right here. Get it Convert Now. No, no, we go to Browse. We're going to hit Desktop. OK, Convert Now. It's going to convert it. And then it's going to create the stupid Users folder. And then it's going to open it for us because redundancy. So now we can take this file and we can throw it into the trash and burn it. We're going to go to users. Copy this file. See, it's been converted back to an X and B. So now what are we going to do? We're going to go back to our. Oh dear God, where did I put it? Uh, run 8 train simulator. Content, rail vehicles, body. Textures, gonna scroll down to here. We backed up the original, so we're fine. Paste. We can delete this. And now we're gonna try it in version one. I can't remember if this will actually work. Uh, no, this will work. This will work. I'm thinking of something else. Select route and train. Uh, where are we gonna go? We're just gonna go to BNSF uh, UP Saco, just because I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you couldn't tell, this is still 18 plus. This is literally just a stupid load screen I made for a joke, just to prove that you can. Uh, this is my old load screen layered on top of some other crap, and I had a lot of fun making it. And it's more of a joke thing. Anyone that takes it seriously. You've uh, you've got to get out of the house more. Which one was it? I think it was, it was one of these two. I think it was BNSF. Wait, which unit was it? I'm a little confused here. I'm trying to remember which one it was. Oh, I know why I have the stupid low res textures on rolling stock setting turned on. That was actually more or less a load screen for me to test the effects in paint that plays train on track, because it should show up now. I think I'm spawning in the wrong ES44.
The stupid window is going to be here. He is 44 body underscore BNSF zero. This should be it. Oh, I know what needs to be done. Let's see what the issue is. Yeah, yeah. Even in, in my tutorials, we'll still I still have my own issues. Mainly because I haven't done this stuff in forever. Let's put it in. Where are we gonna put this? I see, I put it in the wrong, I was spawning in the wrong unit, guys, that was my fault. So that's my issue. <sighs> I'm tired, that's why this is uh, not the greatest video right now. Okay, we have RJY, so it could be one of these units. Because I think this is all of them. It's got to be one of these. That was stupid. Oh, it seems I never pasted the modified body in there for some reason. There we go. That's why we had the issue. I know what I did wrong, guys. It's my bad. I may have to cut out a tiny bit of uh, stupid crap because of this. Or no, I won't. I apologize for the delay. I had forgotten to paste the file, even though I swore. <sighs> and this is why you need to rotate your textures, because otherwise this will happen. But that is how you modify a texture. So I'm going to go back to the one that I edited that is in the wrong format. Restore. Here's what we do. Edit. This is why I was saying that. This is why you need to do this. So you're going to go back to, in this case it will be image, otherwise it will be under file edit. We're going to hit rotate 90 degrees clockwise. File, save, and yes, 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 I don't care. Now we're going to reconvert it. Yeah, you too can have uh, big failures in your reskinning. But anyways, that's a, is a good reason I did that, because now I can demonstrate what happens if you screw it up. So don't ever screw it up. Users, da da da. Copy this file, copy. Textures, go into here, control V, replace file, delete the PNG in here because this PNG does not mean a thing, and go boot up running. So we're going to load in a train. Also, to anyone that takes this load screen seriously, please, um, there's a door that you can leave. Just don't let it hit you on the way out. 
lost focus. Really, I hadn't noticed. Say, so, bad reskins, lol. Congrats, you have a reskin in run eight. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this has been uh, Delta 6 of the Runner Tutorials Guide. Hope you've enjoyed it, and we will see you later. Bye.